Let's go. This is from a video. You can find it online. Here's the link from YouTube of uh, of Father uh, and uh, Metropolitan Neophytos of Morfu in Cyprus, who I think everybody should know who he is at this point because he's been extremely, uh, not only prolific, but extremely helpful and in communicating to us his experiences uh, and his experience, not only, his, not only his own experiences, but his experiences of the great saints of our day who he knew personally and has been extremely helpful through this whole COVIDist insanity we've been living for the last two and a half years. So Metropolitan Neophytos was asked a question there in Cyprus, and you can, you can it has subtitles, you can go find it online, um, and uh, he's answering the question about yoga, which I thought was extremely helpful. That's why I, I, I included it in this talk tonight. Yoga claims, this is, I'm quoting the uh, Metropolitan, yoga claims that it aims at obtaining peace. And people who practice it and yet are not familiar with Eastern religions tell us, why do you fanatical Christians object to this? They want peace. That's why they do yoga. Why are you objecting to this, you fanatical Christians? You just can't let anybody have, have peace. <laughs> what do you want? We just want to obtain an internal peace of soul and body. What's the problem here? I bet we've heard this from our friends and neighbors who are practicing yoga in the United States or Australia, wherever you are, you're listening tonight. This presuppose this supposes that man is a kind of alarm clock, and if you wind it right, it will give you the right time at say 5 p.m. in order for you to wake up. It's saying that, that you can kind of like a, you're a mechanism or something. And you can find peace by doing, uh, you know, external things with your body or something. Right? This is he's mocking this idea that peace comes through our own actions, first of all, but are particularly those kind of actions that one finds in um, in uh, yoga, especially yoga supposedly uh, the, um, taken away from the spiritual uh, context in which it was born and, and which exists. Uh, so if we do the exercises. He's saying, if we, he's, he's entertaining these ideas that they're saying. So if we do the exercises, which they call lotus, in an exercise in which you fold your hands and feet in such a way that you will obtain peace and serenity. That's the claim, right? However, he says, the peace of God is a gift of the Holy Spirit, and it is not our own achievement. That the practitioners obtain a form of self-control and peace now, this was the claim, by the way, in a lot of the comments that we had on Instagram and other places, that this is what they're doing. They're doing it, they're doing it to relax, they're doing it to get some peace, internal peace, some, you know, physically it really helps them, da da da, da right? So listen, listen attentively, all of you who are practitioners of yoga or you know people who are, listen to what he says here, which is not what you're going to hear from almost anyone else, very few people, of course, I mean, outside the Orthodox Church. That the practitioners obtain a form of self-control and peace is an indication that another spirit has visited them, not the Holy Spirit. So the fact that you have a quote-unquote peace and some self-control without prayer, without communion, that through those means, through that life, through those experiences, right? But actually through something else like yoga, that's actually a proof that you don't, you're not visited by the Holy Spirit. You might have a, a form of peace. But the Lord said, the peace of the world and my peace are not the same thing. I didn't come to give you that peace. So the fact that you have a peace in and of itself does not mean anything. It may mean demonic inspiration behind it all. Do you think the Antichrist will not give peace? Of course he will. He'll establish peace on earth. People will be so happy. Finally have a ruler who understands us and what we want. He gives us everything we need. He's our great grandfather. <laughs> the one world government, all the rest. This is a part of the program to create chaos in order to bring about this peace on earth. Now you say, well, that's not the peace that I'm talking about. I have a different peace. Nah, not really. Anything of this world is is a is a peace that is not of the holy spirit right so that's not the spirit that's visiting people who are practicing yoga that's not the holy spirit El metropolitan neophytus is telling us he said saint paisius who he knew personally said the gifts given by satan are cheap and that is why you can get them easy and cheap and easy it should be actually um so you can get peace by engaging in yoga a couple times a week mm, that's not from God, he says. That's too easy. 
doesn't come that easy. Whereas the Holy Spirit, what did the Father say? The Metropolitan, the office was asking, what did the Father say about the Holy Spirit? How's that obtained? Give blood, receive the Spirit. Give blood, receive the Spirit. That's how you obtain the Spirit of peace, the only Spirit of peace, the Holy Spirit of peace. And all of you who are lovers of the saints and read the lives of the saints, you've read the life of St. Paisius, you've read the life of... Uh, 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 You've read the life of Saint uh, Joseph the Hesychist. You know what we're talking about. You saw, you've seen it in the lives of the saints. Saint Siloan the Athenite, uh, Saint Porphyrios, all of them. What life did they lead? A crucified life. They crucified the desires. They crucified the intellect. They crucified the old man. They crucified the passions. Right? They were on the cross, and the Lord said, "This is the way it will be if you want peace in this world." My peace in this world, the only peace that matters. He said what? He said about himself, if I'm lifted up, then I will draw all men to myself. And he was lifted up on the cross. But he is the church. We are members of his body. And so if we are going to have the peace which passes all understanding and draws all men to Christ, we have to be on that cross with him. That's where we obtain the peace. And only through the cross. You might say, well, that's very narrow. It is very narrow. Well, it's very, uh, what, what about this life? What about this world? I want to have, you know, enjoy myself. That kind of joy is very vain and passing. Is that the joy you want? That's not the joy that's eternal. So that's not the spirit that comes to those who have the Holy Spirit, right? That's not the way it comes about. He says, in closing, these poor souls who engage in yoga, however, very easily obtain a blessedness and a peace, right? A quote-unquote blessedness and a quote-unquote peace. All right, so Metropolitan Neophytos, a communicant with St. Porfirio, St. Paiso, St. Jacobos, and a tremendous exponent of the Orthodox faith in our day, very clearly tells us no yoga for Orthodox Christians. Ain't, it's not going to be.